हेलो वेलकम टू द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ आई एस आई एम एस क्यू ई पेपर ऑफ आई एस आई एडमिशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विल सॉल्व द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन वन एस एज फाइंड ऑल द मैक्सिमा एंड मिनिमा ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इक्वल टू एक्स वाई सब्जेक्ट टू द कॉन्स्टेंट्स एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी एंड एक्स वाई इज ग्रेटर दैन equal to zero so so let us solve this one first and <coughs> we'll draw the domain of the function first so it is it is uh, the line passing through 120 comma 0 this point and 0 comma 30 the other point so and, and the line joining these two points now we will uh, this uh, this line is the domain of the function f so now f of x y equal to x y and now uh, we will solve this uh, by uh, lagrange theorem lagrange multiplier theorem so So let lambda be the Lagrange multiplier, then grad f equal to del f del x, comma del f del y. This is an grad. This is equal to y comma x because if you uh, pass, uh, if you differentiate with respect to x and with respect to y, you get just y comma x. Now. g of x y equal to x plus four y, and then grad g is equal to one comma four. Just take the partial with respect to x and y. Then grad f equal to lambda times grad g. So that means y comma x. This is equal to lambda times one comma four. So that means y equal to <coughs> x uh, lambda and x equal to four lambda. Now, if we put back this value to the equation of g, by the way, g of x y is equal to constant. So we are, or the domain of this function is equal to g of x y equal to constant one twenty. So we put this value back in g. So then we get this g of four lambda comma lambda equal to four lambda plus four lambda, which is equal to eight lambda. And g of x y is, as I said, one twenty. So that means lambda equal to one twenty by eight. So after uh, this cancellation, we get four two eight and four thirty one twenty, and so it is fifteen. And uh, <coughs> now, so x equal to uh, so we get lambda equal to fifteen. Uh, so x equal to fifteen uh, times four, which is sixty, and y equal to fifteen, which was lambda. So that means now we'll find the maxima and all the minimas. So, f of x y equal to x y. You know, this is this will be sixty times fifteen. So that is nine hundred six fifteen ninety so nine hundred. So the maxima is at nine hundred. Uh, and the maxima maximum value is nine hundred, and the maxima is at sixty comma fifteen. This point. Now we'll find another uh, minimas. So, if you 
look at this is f of uh, 0 comma 30 equal to 0 and f of uh, 120 comma 0 this is equal to 0 and f of x y is uh, equal to x y and which is greater than equal to 0 because x is greater than equal to 0 and y is greater than equal to 0. So, uh, so th uh, that implies that uh, 0 is a max minimum value and the minimum values are attended at 0, 30 and 120, 0. Uh, and now, uh, and now these are all these uh, points. Now, the, why is that so? Because because this function is uh, greater than or equal to zero and uh, uh, and all the minima occur on the uh, on the endpoints and and this uh, and this and this uh, function and this function uh, uh, the value occurs inside. So this has got a bit tilted, but this is a straight line. You assume this is a straight line. Uh, uh, by mistake, I okay. So the endpoints are the minima, and the maxima is somewhere in between. So so yeah. So we have got the first one. Now we'll go back to the second one. The second one says that find the Sir, find the points on the circle x square plus y square equal to 50 which are closest and the farthest point from 1 comma 1 or what values mm, so okay so we, let us uh, do the 1b first so now first let us look at the uh, circle circle draw the circle and the points on the points given so the, the point is 1 comma 1 and this is and this is our point 1 comma 1 and I, I assume that P and Q will be our uh, maximum and minima respectively that that is a that is my guess and I'll prove this is to be true and so, so let us <coughs> go back to the solution. So, we'll uh, solve this again uh, by uh, by uh, Lagrange multiply. So, first let us look at the distance from this point one comma one, and if we if, it is, uh, if you see, then the distance squared is f of x y equal to 1 minus x whole square plus 1 minus y whole square. Now, uh, <coughs> now we we have this circle. The equation of the circle is x square plus y square. Uh, also, yeah, I have to I I must mention that here uh, the circ the function a p is taking value on the circle. So g the domain of f is the is the point at the points x comma y where g of x y equal to 50. Now lambda be the Lagrange multiplier again. Then grad f of uh, x comma y. Then this is again del f del x and uh, del f del y. So this is equal to Two minus two into one minus x, uh, comma minus two into one minus y, and uh, del f del g, uh, uh, sorry, de grad g equal to two x comma two y. So, so grad now we know grad f equal to lambda times grad g, so that implies minus two. minus 2 into 1 minus x comma 1 minus y 
equal to 2 times so 2 times lambda of x comma y so that implies you can strike up 2 from either side so x minus 1 2 1 minus equal to lambda times x comma y x comma y uh, so so this is lambda times x comma lambda times y so x minus 1 equal to lambda times x that means lamb 1 x into 1 minus lambda this is equal to 1 so that implies x equal to 1 by 1 minus lambda and again oh, so this will be y minus 1 because I have multiplied by minus 1 so this is equal to so y minus 1 we, we get it to be uh, lambda y so by same com computation this is y equal to 1 by 1 minus lambda now g by g of 1 minus 1 by 1 minus lambda and comma 1 by 1 minus lambda equal to 50 so that's the domain so 2 into 1 minus lambda squared this is equal to 50 so that implies that uh, 1 by 1 minus lambda this is equal to squared equal to 25 and that, impl that implies 1 by 1 minus lambda equal to plus minus 5 so we get uh, x equal to A x comma y equal to plus five comma five and minus five comma minus five. So now here at one of the points it will be minima and on the other on the other points it has to be the maxima because these are all the critical points on on uh, on the circle so so let us compute the value f of 1 minus lambda by 1 minus lambda uh, sorry so f of 5 comma 5 is equal to root over of So it is not root over but the distance will be root over so I am computing it when I go so the root over is the answer will be 4 root 2 and the, <coughs> and the minimum distance and the maximum distance is 6 root 2. So the closest point is pipe uh, is at 4 comma 2 distance which is my 5 comma 5 and the farthest point distance is 4 comma uh, 6 root 2 and the point is minus 5 comma 5 so now let us look at the question C for what values of alpha are uh, are the vectors 0 1 alpha alpha 1 0 and 1 alpha 1 in R3 linearly independent so these points are linearly independent if they span whole R3 so they will span whole R3 if if uh, if their uh, determinant if the determinant uh, of this of this row matrices generated by uh, row matrices given by this uh, vectors 0 1 alpha alpha 1 0 and 1 alpha 1 is not equal to 0 now let me compute this uh, determinant so this determinant 0 gives nothing so minus 1 times alpha minus 0 plus alpha times alpha squared minus 1 so this will this gives me this is equal to so this is 0 if uh, this, this has to be non-zero because I am finding out when it is uh, when it spans uh, the whole R3 
minus alpha plus alpha cube minus alpha is not equal to 0. So, alpha cube minus 2 alpha is not equal to 0. So, that means, so now it will be, it will not span if uh, alpha cube minus 2 alpha is equal to 0. And so, alpha times alpha square minus 2 equal to 0 that is alpha equal to 0 plus minus root 2. So, for alpha belongs to uh, complement of these three points in R, they will span uh, R3. So, these are uh, so for uh, the values uh, outside this uh, uh, these three points, the determinant won't be zero, and hence uh, hence they would be linearly independent. So they would be linearly independent, and if this uh, if these alphas are coming from r minus this 0 plus root 2 minus root 2 points. So, that is it. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you.